stone chimneys and uh, I never did find those but uh, while I was scouting that area out I did come across this area here and it was very obviously at one time was a home site you can see all that ivy all over the place uh, we'll see uh, I don't know how old this is uh, but hopefully I find enough relics uh, that uh, we can date this area uh, personally, I don't think it's going to be terribly old. Uh, I don't think it's 1800s. Uh, we could find out. Hopefully, we can find enough things to find out. So, uh, here we go. Alright guys, this is literally the first dig out here. I think this uh, actually might be a can, but uh, it was the first good signal I got, first consistent signal. And these vines are not making this easy, I would think. Not especially the easiest to swing it either. All right. Sounds like it got something something else in the hole too. But uh, I got my first signal that seems to tell me that there was a building back here. And uh, it's an old hinge. I don't know how old it is, but you can see right there it was hinged right at that point. How about that? might be onto something. Now let me see what else is in this hole. awful light. It just looks like a rock. It might be a hot rock, but uh, it's just a, a lump. It might be a piece of aluminum. But, uh, oh well. Let's go to the next thing. Well, I may come back to this place uh, another time, maybe when it's a little cooler. Uh, mosquitoes are eating me up. Uh, all I found was mostly all this trash. Cams, and I don't know what that is. It looks like a, it went to a cast or to a chair or something. One of those uh, goofy looking things. There's that bottle thing up top. Uh, some uh, 22 shells. There's that hinge. That's the best thing i found. I'm uh, going to go to a different area, I think. Uh, it, it's real close by. It's just a walk away. Uh, and we'll see what we can find there. It's uh, 
I'm not stirring up as many mosquitoes out there, I don't think. Uh, but we'll find out. So, uh, here we go. Alright guys, this is location number two. Um, all it is, is a planted stand of pine trees. Uh, but I've been curious to kind of go through here and see what in the world I can find. Um, so I, I guess, uh, I guess let's get to it. Here we go. Well, uh, first target I found out here in the pine woods was an old square nail. So that's about six inches down, right down in there. So that's a good sign. Let's keep going. All right, guys. I've been literally digging a ton of trash, uh, mostly old cans. This signal was kind of faint, eight inches down. It may be garbage too. That would explain cans, right? All the activity around here. Behold, he finds it. But I don't know if I can get it out of the ground. Well, there it is. Big old bolt. I can't tell if it's threaded, but uh, that might be worthy of cleaning up and uh, trying to figure out. Kind of cool. On to the next. Um, the only signals I've been finding have been drink cans. I did find that square nail, I did find that bolt, uh, the only real interesting things I found out here. Um, I gotta think about it, I gotta see if I can think of any place else I can go that might uh, be an interesting hunt, and uh, uh, we'll see what I come up with. So, until then, I'll catch you later. Alright guys, uh, I was uh, swinging uh, on my way out to the car and I came across a signal. I started coming up with a lot of fabric, a lot of material here. Um, I haven't run across that before. So uh, I think I'm going to dig this one live and, and see what happens. Uh, so here we go. Uh, 
I don't know, somebody buried something out here. I mean, this is a very trashy area. Or I don't know if anybody was buried out here, you know? Kind of interesting. It's ringing up in the material here. Right there. Here. Let's get you over where I am. something that was on it was something that was on uh, that shirt or whatever that was all right well on to the next I guess so I was digging around that hole again and I saw something in there. There's that piece that I just dug. I haven't found that button yet. So, uh, that's my find in this hole. guys um, well this is the next day uh, I never did get back out yesterday uh, I'm sure you heard my phone ringing um, there's a kind of little crisis I, I had to deal with it but uh, it's all good I'm back out today uh, I still don't know where I'm going uh, I'm thinking actually I'm thinking nothing I'm doing it I'm uh, going up a highway here. This is a this is a historical highway, and uh, it's kind of a scouting trip. I'm hoping to find uh, a field or a uh, old house or some place uh, where I can metal detect. Uh, you know, I'd like to get some permission somewhere. So, uh, uh, you know, here's hoping. Um, here we go. Subway, eat fresh. All right, guys, this was not planned, but uh, I actually ended up here at the Battle of Cowpens. Uh, of course, there's no battle anymore, it's a battlefield. The uh, battle took place, I think, it was 1781. But uh, if I find something interesting, I'll be sure you see it too. I'm actually walking on the Green River Road. Uh, they use this part as the part of the trail you can walk through the park. But this was the battleground, guys. This was uh, the battle that decided the eventual victory for the U.S. troops. British. Uh, Scottish lost uh, quite a few men here, either through 
battle or through uh, captivity. Wouldn't you just love to take a metal detector through all this? This was quite a battle. In fact, check this out. Stand in the revolutionary soldier's footprints. How about that? That is not actual footprints, of course, but it is an approximation about where a Revolutionary War soldier stood holding his ground against British soldiers. Can you imagine looking at a line of those soldiers coming at you, shooting at you, a couple of cannons firing at you, and you're just standing there? Unbelievable. Guys, I can't believe this. Um, I just found a surface find out here at the battlefield of Cowpins. Uh, I mean, and this is this is incredible. Um, I, I think probably the honorable thing would be for me to you know donate this to the museum. But but guys, I just want the YouTube people to know that I'm the one that found this. Okay. If you're ever out here at the, the battlefield and, and you see this uh, on display, I found it. Okay, check this out. Come on, come on, come on, change. I want to go. Hey guys, um, boy I really enjoyed that cowpens trip. I did not intend to go out there. I didn't expect to get out there. Oh buddy, yeah. I didn't expect to get out there but I'm glad I did. Uh, but this is turning out to be a very long trip and I didn't think it'd go this long. It's, it's over six hours now and I got a late start. Uh, I'm heading back to the house and um, I'd still like to get a hunt in today, but I don't think I'm going to have the time. Um, but we'll see. If if I don't, uh, you know, there have been a lot of <sighs> dumb things that happened today and yesterday both. So I'm actually thinking about doing a blooper reel at the end of this video. So uh, either way, stay tuned, guys. I did have fun. I just want to. Yeah. Um, booga booga. All right, guys. Uh, it's uh, not today anymore. It's actually the next day. I'll try to make sense of that one, won't you? And um, okay. Got to slow down here. Kind of took me a little by surprise. All right. <laughs> I was going to say something. I don't know what was. I don't know. Sorry, I bit my tongue. <laughs> it didn't feel too good.
Oh, camera's still on. 